uh, arms shipment? Well, it's a big one, hundreds of tons according to the Israeli Navy, and they say it would be enough to keep Hezbollah going for a whole month if it came into another war and came to ground fighting. They say they have documents showing the thing was loaded in Iran. They claim it was going via Syria. The Syrians do deny this, saying that there were no weapons on board, or certainly none that the Syrians knew about, and they accuse Israel of an act of piracy. Uh, I think the Israelis also saying it's a, it's a drop in the ocean. Um, is there any evidence that there is very, very wide-scale smuggling of this kind? Well, we simply don't know, and the assumption was that Hezbollah was quite successful in rearming itself quickly after the Lebanon war three years ago, but the Israelis say there is regular arms traffic. It's a bit odd that this would be going by ship. After all, there is a well-known overland route, which the Israelis claim is often used to get weapons to Hezbollah. The, the underlying uh, assumption that Israel has is that at some point in the future, it will be fighting another conflict with Hezbollah in southern Lebanon either because of local tensions or something of, of the nature that happened three years ago when Israeli soldiers were kidnapped, or more likely as part of a wider conflict with Iran. And only last week, the Israelis were testing their missile defences. The unspoken scenario is that Israel at some point attacks Iran or carries out missile strikes against Iran over its nuclear programme, and then Iran responds directly or uses Hamas and Hezbollah to send missiles into Israel. This is the assumption behind a lot of the military planning. And uh, presumably, if the Israelis are planning this way, then perhaps Hezbollah too is stocking up. After all, you can never have too much ammunition if you're going to fight the Israeli army. <laughs> OK, Paul Wood, good to talk to you. Thanks very much.